Hello everyone, it's Tammy Mastroberti with Elevated Existence and today I am talking about the four biggest lies that you may be buying into about meditation. So we hear about meditation, we know meditation works, there's a million studies on meditation and how it is amazing for the physical body and the mind and your spirit and it connects you with a higher power. But so many people are still struggling with it. So many people are choosing not to try it or have tried it and it's not working for them. So I wanted to come on here and tell you the four biggest lies that I have found about meditation so that you will hopefully be one of them who tries it and sticks with it and finds what is right for you. So the first biggest lie about meditation that people buy into or believe and it and it really stops them is that you are supposed to be able to stop your thoughts during meditation. You're not supposed to have thoughts. You're supposed to quiet your mind and be blissful and not think about everything. And if thoughts are coming in, then you're doing it wrong. And then you get up and you say, I can't meditate. Big lie. You are supposed to have thoughts. It's fine to have thoughts. It's nearly impossible not to have thoughts, right? So when you're meditating, whether you're focusing on your breath and just breathing in and out, whether you're focusing on a mantra, I always talk about just using a word or a small phrase that, that connects you. So you could use release, you could use I am connected, you could use all is well, whatever works for you, right? And if you're doing that, and thoughts creep in, and they will, you, all you have to do is go, oh, I'm thinking again. I'm going to let it go. I'm going back to my mantra. All is well. All is well. Thoughts are going to creep in again. It's okay. You let it go. Whether you're meditated for 60 seconds or for an hour, you're going to have thoughts. It's going to happen to you. It's the way the mind works, right? But we're retraining it. And here's the awesome thing about thoughts. With the thought, every time you have a thought and you think, oh my gosh, now I'm thinking about my to-do list or I'm thinking about um, something that happened last week or I'm thinking about something that's coming up or I'm thinking about a problem that I have to solve or I'm thinking about someone who, who upset me, whatever it might be, and you say, oh, I'm thinking, let me go back to my mantra, you're rewiring your brain. You're rewiring your brain to be calmer to react less. That's the whole point of meditation. You're actually rewiring your brain every time you have a thought and then you go back to the meditation. You have a thought, you go back to the mantra. It's a good thing. The other piece of that is when you have all these thoughts, and don't get me wrong, there'll be times where you have a meditation where maybe you are more in that blissful state, but that's not the purpose of it. The purpose of the meditation is you're retraining yourself to be better in everyday life, not to just be not thinking in a meditation. So I lost my train of thought now. You see, I get excited. So when you have, when you're in that state, okay, and you have those thoughts, you find yourself drifting and you bring yourself back. Yes, you're rewiring your brain, but also you're releasing stress. So you're releasing stress with each thought that's coming up and you're letting it go. You're actually de-stressing yourself with those thoughts. So please don't let it stop you. Don't be like, oh my God, I can't meditate because when I sit there, I can't stop thinking and that's not the purpose. I'm supposed to be blissful. I'm supposed to be Zen. I'm supposed to be Buddha. No, you're not. Okay. So that's the first biggest lie. The second biggest lie is you have to sit down and meditate for a certain length of time. So you have to sit down and meditate for 20 minutes or 30 minutes or 40 minutes or whatever and you have to do it twice a day and you have to do this and you have to do that. Not true. There are brain studies that show any length of time is cumulative and adds up. So if you choose to meditate for three minutes three times a day or for five minutes twice a day or for 60 seconds at a time and you do that five or six times during the day, you're getting the same benefits. So if you're somebody who says, I can't sit still, I can't do it for 20 minutes, I can't last more than four or five minutes, then you just do the four to five minutes. You'll see over time you'll be able to last longer. 
But don't put that pressure on yourself. I have to sit down for 20 minutes and meditate or I'm not getting the benefits. I have to not be thinking or I'm not getting the benefits. Not true and science is showing that. So that's the other big thing. If you can just do 60 seconds at a time where you're quieting your mind and you're releasing and you're feeling, you're you're hearing thoughts in your head and you're going back to your mantra, you're releasing that stress, 60 seconds at a time still works for you. So get rid of that. I have to sit down for 20 minutes if that doesn't work for you. If you're somebody that 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 works for, that's amazing. You could still take your 60 second breaks during the day if you wanted to, or your three minutes here or there to recenter yourself when needed. But don't hinder your practice thinking I have to sit down for these extended periods of time in order for it to work or in order for me to be getting the benefits because that's not true. The third biggest lie about meditation is that you have to have formal training in order to know how to do it. Now, this is not to say that formal training is bad. I have had training myself. I trained through the Chopra Center where I learned their their type of meditation, which is a mantra-based meditation um, called primordial sound meditation. There's transcendental meditation. There's MBSR, which is mindfulness-based stress reduction, which I've also trained in. So there's a lot of, of training that you can take, and that's amazing. However, you don't have to be trained in a type of meditation in order to meditate. Like I said, anybody can take 60 seconds and repeat a mantra and quiet their mind. Anybody can follow their breath and, and try and de-stress. You don't have to have a formal training. So I don't want that to stop you either. Again, that's not to say that formal training isn't great because it absolutely is. You get that group effect when you're, when you're doing it in a group, which always enhances any type of meditation because you have that group energy that's coming together. So it's an amazing thing to go and get training in this. However, don't let it stop you thinking, I don't know how to do it. You don't, know, you don't have to know how to do it. All you need to do is close your eyes and focus yourself either on your breath. You can focus. You can even do it with your eyes open and focus on a candle flame and repeat or focus on one spot and repeat over and over again that mantra to bring yourself back. You're bringing yourself back to the present moment. That is the goal. You're bringing yourself back. You're drifting off. You're bringing yourself back. So don't think, I don't know how to do it, or I haven't been trained in it. Again, anybody can do it for 60 seconds at a time. That's where you start. I had a friend who used to do it, and she would just do it for as long. She didn't time herself. She just did it as long as it felt good. And then she found, you know, she'd go two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. All of a sudden, she was going 10 minutes. Before she knew it, it was 20 minutes, and she thought, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that. So start with 60 seconds. Don't worry about being trained in it. Just start, and when you notice the difference, you may want to go get training. That's what happened to me. I just started myself and thought, okay, let me see how this works, and then I thought I had seen something come up where I could take this course, and part of the course was the meditation training, and I thought, well, this will be cool. So then I got a personal mantra and all that kind of stuff. But you don't need that to start. So don't let that stop you. The fourth biggest myth or the biggest lie about meditation is that you have to sit still and close your eyes. Not true. (laughs) There are walking meditations that bring mindfulness into what you're doing that is a form of meditation where you're walking slowly and you're just in the present moment and you're noticing the things around you. You're feeling your foot hit the ground. You're feeling your your heel and then the ball of your foot and then each toe hit the ground and you're slowly walking around. So if you're not the type of person who can sit still, you can literally just walk around your house mindfully. You can take a walk out into your backyard mindfully, slowly, go up and down the stairs slowly. That can be a form of meditation. That's actually one of the things in mindfulness-based stress reduction, which is a form of uh, mindfulness meditation, one of the ways they teach you is mindful walking. And so you just walk slowly. Like I said, you feel everything. and And your mind, instead of being focused on a mantra, your mind is focused on feeling things in your body of noticing the things around you, right? That's a different form of it, 
But if you're not one who can sit, try mindfully walking for 60 seconds to three minutes and feel sort of the stress melt away. So that's the other thing is people think I can't sit still for that long. I just don't have it in me. I have ADD or I have, you know, issues or whatever. Like, listen, I'm an amped up person, right? I don't even drink caffeine because if I did, I would be out of my mind, okay? I have enough energy. I don't need it. But I I have been able to sit still. If that's not your thing, start with the walking. Start with just slowing down your pace and mindfully walking and see how that does. And then you may be able to bring yourself into that seated, but it doesn't have to be seated. So no excuses that I I can't meditate. I have too many thoughts. I can't sit still for that long. I can't do it for that long. I can't sit still at all. Uh, I've never been trained. I don't think I'm doing it right. Lies. Okay. Try it. Try it, start with the 60 seconds. Know that those thoughts are okay, even if, I guarantee you, even in those 60 seconds, something's going to creep into your mind. It's going to happen. It's the way the mind works. We have a quadrillion thoughts, okay? That's that's a scientific term. We have a quadrillion thoughts going through our head all the time. So yes, they're going to come in, but be grateful because they're helping you rewire your brain. They're helping you to go into your everyday life in a calmer manner, in a less reactive manner because you're rewiring your brain. So don't get caught up in it. Don't think I can't do this and give it a try. Let me know your thoughts below. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. Have you tried this? What do you do that works for you? Share it with other people. And if you like what you're hearing, subscribe to my channel below and hit the like button. And I will see you guys next time.